Cold at the touch, dead in the eyes No signs of life, no more I put your love under the knife Leave me to die, here all alone No signs of life, no more, no A crying dove may never fly I want to pick an exercise for shoulders right. and, and the, what made your shoulders improve the most in your career? And I know you had some sweet freaking shoulders. You have to this cette photo. His shoulders were enormous. And the beauty of his physique was just spectacular. So when I started training, I visualized your physique, Ben Fatu and Bob Paris. These are my three, of course, little brother. And the way I used to picture things after every show, what I'm going to do the next year was, or next show was, sculpt my physique and picture these things that I needed to work on to have that wide, wide shoulder illusion, small ways. How do you do it? Well, again, as you know, when you look at the physique, you're looking for balance. Right. Okay, so. But the shoulders, for example, is that if I could just turn you this way, Jim. right? Your work, you need to work here, here, and here, right? What most people tend to, to neglect is here, okay? So what you then get is this, okay? A lot of like guys walking around because they're too dominant across here, no. and obviously in the middle back. So you, you must, when training shoulders, you have to hit all these points, right? For a balanced shoulder. That's what gives the shoulder depth, and from the front, the width. So my, I always make sure that I put a lot of time in on the, uh, on the rear deltoid, because you're gonna be using the front for the chest, for the chest obviously when you train your shoulders um, and here and also on the, um, the lateral heads always always make sure that that's what gives you the width and the waist to the waist ratio so what was, what was your favorite exercise to do for shoulders um there wasn't really a, i wouldn't say i had a favorite i just um it was more I try to get balance, balance. The thing. and so you know I, again you know I would look and think well, I need more on, the, on the rear, rear so I would work I would work on. so if you have a, a, a weakness you you put more emphasis on, on the weaker muscle so show us how you did your rear and show us how you did your side lateral raises yeah because you know pressing movement is very very basic Pressing the movement, keeping the elbows on, in line with the shoulders, and just engaging your deltoids to to uh, as a compound movement when you start training. But I want to just see his style of side lateral raises. With that, I think that'd be that give him a chance to see, to see how you work and how maybe definitely they're gonna pick up a lot of tips from you. Now we're gonna do some exercises for the the uh, the shoulders. Go ahead, brother. Right. Okay. Rear deltoids. Now. So rear deltoids, are, obviously. You go ahead. There Sorry. are many. You know, there are a few um, exercises you can do, but one good one is um, if you just, if I can get you feet and knees together, gentlemen, okay. and then drop forward as if you're going to ski down downhill. Okay, so you're aiming dumbbells that way, so you're, you're here, so you're, you're going to come back this way from the elbows, okay? So just pick it up from there, so you would literally, that move. Ah, this one. Like that's it, so keep it like that, okay? So relax the, the, the grip, and lift the elbows. Right, lift the elbows, lift the elbows, that's it. So as you can see here, they're far enough, all right? And do you do this exercise at the beginning, in the middle, you, at the you, end? Wherever where, where you want to do it. And rest. And 
right? That's that's one. One exercise yeah. for the read that. Yeah. So the weight obviously not very heavy. No, I mean it, look, it's a small muscle, muscle group, right? And then again, the heavier you go, you're gonna start enjoying. Right, right, right. You're trying to you know put the crosshairs on the muscle you're training. That's basically all Eight. you're doing when you're training. Now if we go on to another uh, another movement, again we all know about the elbows, lifting the elbows laterally. Okay, so again dog leg the arm so there's a bend in that in the arm, you keep that and you just come down and lift from here. Lift from here, lift from there. Okay? Keep the head forward so as you don't put too much tension here. Okay, in this region. So you just and again you can see it firing up around here. So that means his, his rear deltoid is uh, firing. Okay. You're going to be huge by the end of this, Gemma. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm already getting big, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. This is good. This is great, great stuff. Thanks, bud. So now, how did you do? Because because a lot of people do the side lateral differently. Yeah. And I said, there's many, many ways of doing them. I tend to do them this way. Yeah. Yeah. My elbows in line on my shoulders. Boring yeah. yeah. does them this way. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, yeah, he's always good. had them there. Yeah. Okay. How do you do Even them? with dumbbells, he does. Them. Yeah, he does yeah. them. He grabs them yeah. from here and he yeah. does this. Right. I do them like this. How do you do yours? Right. I mean, again, I'm like you. Arms slightly out, I, re I relax my uh, my wrists and I lift from the elbows, on keeping, the elbow. if, if you just stand there, keeping, see what, what most people do when they come up, that's what happens. They like drop you, the elbows down? The elbows are dropped. And right? they, they lose the so back? You, you pick it up. I mean even when Dorian was doing it, you see he was here, but that. he was picking it up from, from this there, point, yeah. right? So that's what you, so when you're in at this point, Nice straight line, okay? Which is putting it where you want it. Right. Okay, once, once this happens, you lose it. Yeah, you're losing it, okay? So there is that that movement. The other one, again, is arms slightly forward with a bar and just lift the bar. But again, keeping that. So you're literally coming forward forward that way and you're coming down forward that way okay. so we're going to show you both ways yeah. that way you can get an idea on how he does it because with the bar i never did it honestly i never did it with the bar right so you're lifting from this point again slightly there so so the 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 grip is pretty wide right yeah okay so la prise a un petit peu a petit a bit très très large comme vous voyez ici okay so we're lifting from the elbows right yes. Of course, you have to control on the way down. That's it. And you should be feeling that in there. And what I see here too, Charlie, is the angle is different mm -hmm. than slightly different than. Ah, I'm dying, yeah. ça pique, là, ça pique. The French people, they <laughs> said that they, they said I'm dying, they go, ça pique, it's like it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. So what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yeah? Since I just learned a new, a new movement, you know? So you always learn. You always learn. Don't think that you freaking know it all, because this is life. You move on and you learn pretty uh, all the time.